Okay, we're live. Jeep speaking. Um, do you have trouble coming up with ideas for videos, whether it be a course video, a lesson, tutorial, um, even YouTube videos? It can be a struggle, especially when you start creating a lot of videos. You try and find something that might be unique or something you hadn't thought of before, and you may even feel that you actually end up repeating yourself. Now, there's pros and cons, obviously, to repeating yourself in any of these videos, but, you know, we hit dry spells. Sometimes uh, we're even afraid to get started because we're not sure that the topic that we're coming up with is something that is really valuable or something you should even cover. So I, I know for myself personally, there's a lot of different ways of finding out how do I come up with some new ideas or new topics. Uh, and uh, I've covered them in a number of videos, but today what I want to do is I want to share a simple, simple under your nose hack that you may not have been thinking about when you're trying to come up with a course idea or lessons or parts of a course or anywhere when you're kind of struggling on what is an idea that is important that can be used as something that deserves a video. So here's, here's what usually happens. Um, like for example, I just did a search uh, on YouTube, how to come up with course ideas uh, or video topics. And if you go do that right now, you'll actually see uh, there's a really large a selection of videos that are available and they're all really great. So you may have, you know, 10 videos, uh, 12 videos that are common. Some of them have, you know, 20,000, 30,000 views. Uh, and the majority of them are, how do I come up with an idea that's viral so I can get views? Uh, for me personally, I'm in an education business. I want people who identify themselves in my audience and want to learn about a specific topic. So I want to make sure that the topics that I'm creating and the video scripts and the videos I'm creating are answering a specific question for them, not necessarily to get views on YouTube. So here's a simple hack that I've started to use and I just wanna share it with you because it's something that you may not ha have ever thought of. So uh, if you are like me, you have a ChatGPT, a, a Claude account, a Google Gemini account, a Perplexity account, a Claude account, there's tons of tools that are available, and if you had them for any point length of time, you've made a whole bunch of chats, questions, answers, responses. You've done a whole bunch of homework on those particular tools. Uh, and I have too, some of them for clients, some of them for myself. And even when I've been doing it, you know, one of the things I always talk about is, is you know, making spe uh, special instructions or giving, uh, you know, uh, unique instructions about my market. Uh, the kind of people that I'm helping uh, and making sure that anytime I do talk about any of the questions that I ask these tools that they're doing it from my perspective. So I'm going to show you a real simple hack right now. And it was one that I was kind of thinking about when I was trying to figure out, okay, what should I, you know, what should I actually do here? Or what should I focus on? So I thought it would be a really good idea if I went to ChatGPT and I said, you know what? Why don't we take a look through all of the work that I've already done and see if there's something of value there. So if I look on the left hand side here, I've got hundreds of chats right now, right? I have a whole bunch of projects that are, have been put in place that I've done projects and those projects have all sorts of chats. And for the most part, many of the chats or most of the chats that I've done are ones that relate to starting, building and growing an education business. Now, if that's something that you're interested in, of course, make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. That's my personally branded campus where I collect all of my videos, all of my prompts, all of my resources, everything to do with creating videos and selling them online and building an education business and it's free to join. Uh, so please go and do that. And again, all of these videos and prompts and stuff that I mentioned uh, are there uh, as well. But I just kind of think I'm looking at this and going, you know what, I've got all of these great topics here, what maybe can I use them? So what I did is I went to ChatGPT and at the top here it just says, what is a prompt I can use to have you analyze all of my previous chats, including the content and special instructions to come up with a list of possible video topics and scripts? So <laughs> that's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, I have all of these topics and all the research has been done. And for the most part, they're all about doing research for a course or doing a research on idea or something that I'm using in my business. So all I did is I said, well, why don't we go through all of them and then see if there's pieces 
or that they can be connected together as something that I can use when I'm creating some kind of course. So <clears throat> what I did is I did that and it said, here's a prompt you can use uh, to have me analyze all of your previous chats, including content, special instructions, to come up with a list of possible video topics and scripts tailored to your business. So I put it in and this is the prompt that it came up with. And again, I'll put this in the links below so that you can have it, but it's, I'm going to copy it while we're here. It's analyze all of our previous conversations and it says, here's the interesting thing. I went through the special instructions, right? That align with my focus of helping 45 plus solopreneurs and small business owners build personally branded campuses, create online courses and grow the education business. Every topic should include a brief, brief description, potential key points to cover, and unique angles or hooks that would appeal to my audience, and outlines for three to five for most of the uh, promising video topics, including ideas, introduction, main points, and calls to action. Now, this right-hand side here, this is the canvas uh, in, I'll just open this up, this is a canvas in ChatGPT, so that it shows me what I'm actually working on from the result. So when I asked it to run it, this is what it showed up for me on the right hand side. And basically, here's seven quick scripts uh, or seven topics that I identified that I'd be able to do that has the description, discuss how AI tools like ChatGPT, MyLens, Notebook can simplify content creation for technical solopreneurs. Like I had talked about MyLens as one of the videos. I've talked about Notebook LM in how to use it, for example, in a number of videos. I didn't combine them all together. This is a suggestion that came up and it also included the key points or the talking points, also the hook that's there for me. So that was one that just created seven simple ideas, which is kind of cool. And it even included video script outlines. So the introduction, the main talking points, calls to action and it's gone through and it's provided five of those for me. So here's just a starting point to work out from that I haven't had to come up with any ideas that I haven't already come up with. So that's kind of a cool thing. If you're stuck at any time or you're just wondering, I've done a whole bunch of small videos or I've done research for a whole bunch of different topics. How can I use those topics and repurpose them or recombine them in a way that has value to people. Now, I would hope that the research that you've been doing to create any of the videos that you've already created, I would hope you already know that that research is something either that you used or didn't use for whatever reason, but it's focused on the topic of the people that you're trying to help. Now, I did this in ChatGPT, so I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea if we went to another tool just to see how this has worked? Now, I haven't done this yet, so this is the first time I'm going to do it. I copied the post, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a copy here of Claude just to see what happens with his one of the other tools that I have. We'll open that one up. I'm going to start a new chat on this one, and uh, then there's Claude. This is the paid version of Claude. I had the paid version of ChatGPT at well, uh, and you can see on this one, I have a whole bunch of different projects that I've been working on. And I've had a, a bunch of individual chats that I've been working through. Recent chats, I can view all, for example, and goes through this. There's like hundreds of chats, right, that I've been doing on. So I'm going to start a new one. And on this one, I'm just going to put the exact same prompt in that ChatGPT gave me. And remember, there's an, a simple trip right there, right? If you don't know what to, a, what to ask, ask ChatGPT to give you the prompt. That's all that I did here. And Choose a style. I can remember in, in uh, Claude, you can do some additional things here. Um, and also the model, shift, return. Let me just see what we're going to do here. No projects, nothing else. Let's just go and run this and see what happens. So this is going to go through, think it through. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. And there's even more that's done there. So it came up with three, four, came up with four or five that are there. And again, if we had adjusted the prompt for more details, we certainly could have done it. But there's three ideas that we can use easily and quickly 
including all of the different strategies, the introduction, title options, call to action, all of the material would be there. And it even gives you the opportunity, would you like me to elaborate on any of these topics or create additional outlines for other video ideas? And if we did put in and just say, give me another five and see what happens, it's gonna go through them. Hopefully it'll come up within There we go. So there's some simple examples on how you can't get stuck if you're doing research on ChatGPT for whatever part of your business or any of these AI tools. It's a unique opportunity to stay focused on your topic and come up with ideas that can help you create more great content, not only for yourself, but the people that you're obviously trying to help. So if this is something that you're interested in, want to learn more about it, make sure to go to the trainingsites.il forward slash join community, where I keep all of the resources and tools that are available for you. Uh, also make sure and like and subscribe to the channel. I think this is my third video today. I try and do one to two a day anyway, and it's all about helping you start, build, and grow your training and education business. Again, it's James from trainingsites.io. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back shortly.